Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Sahalar Khan here and today with the next topic that is the unit step response of an LTI system. Now coming into this video you already know what the unit impulse response is. So you could also suggest by the name what a unit step response is. Fine but let's say we explain it together. So you have an LTI system. You have a system. This is an LTI system with a unit impulse response H of N. Fine. We said that the impulse response would give us all the characteristics of the and the impulse response is enough to characterize the system to tell us about the characteristics of it. So it's the unit impulse response H of N in the LTI system. You have an input X of N to this system. It gives you an output y of n. In a similar fashion that we did for the unit step response, what do we do for the unit impulse response? We do what? If this x of n is the particular input u of n, that is the unit step signal, we name the output of the system to be s of n. This S of N is the unit step response. This U of N is the step signal. And this is an LTI system with an impulse response H of N. So, unit step response S of N is the output of an LTI system if the input is what? If the input is the unit step signal u of n. Simple as it is. Now, how do you calculate? How do you calculate the output of a system? Y of n, you know that y of n is equal to x of n, the input of the signal of this uh, convolved input convolved with the impulse response h of n. So have a look, over here my output is S of N. So I can say that S of N is equal to X of N. The input is the step signal U of N and the impulse response is H of N. Isn't it so? So, the next thing is that we also know that uh, this is Commutative. This is commutative. So if I use the commutative law, commutative. So this would suggest that my S of N is the output by the convolution of H of N with U of N. Now this is what? So this means that you have an LTI system with the impulse response equal to u of n. The impulse response is u of n. The input to the system is now h of n. And now the output is over here s of n again. So this we have seen from the commutative law that we can interchange the impulse response and the input of the system. Now what do you have? If I write it in a summation form. So if I say that S of N, so this is equal to what? This would be equal to K running from negative infinity to positive H of N into U of N minus K. Wouldn't it be like this? Won't it be like this? So, I'm also having a cup of tea, you know. The weather is turning cold. So, the, the, now u of n minus k is what? So, you know it, uh, that, that uh, if this is your u of n, right? This is your u of n, fine. Uh, so, this would be your u of minus n. So, n minus k is something like this. This is u of n minus k and this depending on the value of n this could be over here if it is negative over here if it is positive 
So I have a look. What is happening? It is existing from negative infinity till n. So I can write it as what? Then my s of n. This is equal to summation. I would make it a k running from negative infinity, but not till positive infinity because the product, the overlap, would only occur till the point n. So this is till n, and then you have your h of n and your u of n minus k is one till this case. So this is what is the relationship. This is what is the relationship. Fine. Which means that the step response, unit step response, USR is the running sum and in the in the continuous time case, the running integral of unit impulse response UIR. Fine. Because in that case, what would it be? It would be S of T. This would be running from a negative infinity till, till T H of tau D tau. Fine. So this is what is the case. Now, you know it better than me from your mathematics. If uh, S of T is the integral of H of T, so this means that h of t would be the derivative of the derivative of s of t. And similarly over here you could say that if this is the running sum, so h of n would be equal to the first difference which is s of n minus s of n minus 1. So this is what it is. So uh, let me write this also in words that the unit impulse response is the first difference or it's the first derivative in the continuous time case of the unit step response. And that's it for it. That's it for this video. So uh, let's say, let's say that I have a read from the book if we have any point. We don't have, I believe. Yes. Unit step response by one output when x of n is u of n, right? Commutative then discrete time and unit step. The step response of a discrete time is the running sum of the impulse response. And the impulse response is the first difference. And then they have seen it again that unit impulse is the first derivative of the step response and uh, therefore in both continuous time and discrete time the unit step can, therefore in both continuous time and discrete time the unit step response can also be used to characterize an LTI system since we can calculate the unit impulse response from it. So that's it. That was just a small topic See in the next lecture with a new topic okay so i will leave till here the the main idea of convolution is done so see in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourself and everyone around you and do remember me in your prayers goodbye